you have a bunch of copycats. Maybe you have a ton of competitors here. Who are you targeting towards? This is my ASIN, and I'm getting good CTR on PPC, but customers are not converting. So what will be the reason for that? So let's take a little look. All right, so you're saying you're getting good click-through rate on your PPC, but customers not converting. What could be the reason? Do a quick little review. Your title, a little short. I would add a couple more keywords in here, just as a general rule of thumb. Typically speaking, you want to have a longer title if you are not at the top. So a lot of people will say, keep your title nice and short. Amazon wants it somewhere around the range of 80. I, don't worry about that. You don't have enough people looking at this yet to where it matters for your title to be longer. So absolutely use the space for recommended keywords. That's going to help on your organic side. Material type, that's decent. All right. Let's see. Fulfill your dream. These are all decent at the very least. I don't like this. I would absolutely get rid of this. This is technically yes within Amazon customer service, but get rid of it just from the aspect of you could get dinged or something like that. Any time you're talking about refund or anything like that, definitely, definitely, especially if it's on the listing. So I would get rid of that real quick here. Let's take a look at this. This isn't a bad main image. I would look at adding. Yeah, so it's a custom product. I would look at potentially adding some form of sticker here just to kind of make people understand the product a little bit better. Not a huge fan of this. I don't like this image because this is all just, I mean, it's the stickers, I assume, that you put onto this in some way, shape, or form. But yeah, I would definitely change this to actual product. Text is way too small. Think of it this way. If I'm going to pull this product up on my phone and look at this, that text, I would have to zoom in to read that text. Not a fan of that whatsoever. So absolutely get rid of a lot of this text. You got to think of it this way. Pictures are for the people. Text is for the robots. So always make it so that this is visible. Assume 60 plus percent of all people on your listing are on their phones. This is going to be super, super small on your phone. I would get this down a lot. This is decent. Again, we have some small text here that I'm not a huge fan of, but this is decent. I would probably add another form of lifestyle photo here somehow. This is all right. It doesn't actually really show a ton here. Others, I'm iffy on it. Your video looks good. Overall, I mean, I would ask this question first and foremost, who are you targeting towards? I can also see you have a ton of competitors here, right? So we have a ton of custom competitors here. What I would look at doing is do a lot more competitor targeting product page, go against pretty much any other type of person you can when it comes to the competitor targeting. This is a really, really good. These are all AI. I would get rid of the AI stuff. It's pretty blatantly obvious. We're not huge fans, or at least I'm not of the AI stuff. If I see AI imagery, I usually think the product itself is also going to be a lower tier and lower quality just because you know it doesn't seem realistic. This one, all right. Overall, not bad. But again, you have a bunch of copycats, right? You have essentially a bunch of competition. Focus your PPC strategy right now around product page specific targeting to all of those competitors. And then on top of that, see what the top sellers of your same type of product are doing, and then focus in on those on those keywords. See what keywords they're ranking for, see where they're at, and focus top of search for those ones. If you have more great questions like this one, let us know in the comments below. We're more than happy to answer them.